All right, Mr. Lam. Um, so today we'll do some basic um, stoichiometric calculations, and what's shown here is a, is, a, is a typical example of a stoichiometric calculation where you have um, on the left-hand side what are called reactants, hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas, giving you the product on the right-hand side, which is water in this case. So a typical a typical problem, uh, a stoichiometric problem is going to be something like this. So they're gonna they can tell you that suppose I have 10 grams of hydrogen, right, of H2. And the question would be, how many grams of water can we, can we get? Right? Can we, can we get? Okay, so how, how do we go about solving problems like these? Okay, so the first thing we have to do in, in these calculations is to, is to work in moles, right? And we explained last time moles is equal to grams divided by formula weight. Right. So the first thing you have to do is look at look at what is given in this case hydrogen gas. So you look at hydrogen gas and you find the moles of hydrogen gas. So and I'm going to write um, uh, let's see moles here moles of H two will be equal to grams over formula weight which will be equal to how many grams? We have 10 grams, right? 10 grams. And divide by the formula weight, and the formula weight of H2 is two times one, which is the mass of hydrogen, right? So that gives you five moles of H2. Now please, please note, you know, uh, here um, I used, I used two times one for, two, for H2. I did not do two times two times one. I did not put four here. I just put I put two here because it is for H two. So that is really what something we should understand. We're looking with H two, not two H two or anything like that. Just H two. That's what H two is. Say okay? that's one of the typical problem uh, um, mistakes that students make. Is is this is what they do? All right. So having done that, let's move on. All right, so, so what we've done so far, we were given 10 grams of H2, and we were asked how many grams of H2O can be produced. Okay, so, so far what you've done, we were managed to convert this into moles of H2, and we said we had 5 moles of H2. So the next step is, is very simply, you simply write 5 mole H2 and then you say how many moles, how many moles of this guy, which is what we were asked to find out, how many moles of water can be produced, right? So to solve this problem, we have to basically look at, we asked, we have given H2, we have to find out H2O, right? So H2 and H2O. So the way we do it, we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor. And please note, what is given here is H2. So you write H2O here. And what is given, what is, uh, what is, what is, sorry, what is, um, what we need is H2O. And we write H2 on top. What is given is H2. We put H2 at the bottom, right? And then we look at the, in, in the balanced equation, we look at H2O here and H2. And look at the coefficients what is in front of them, right? So in both cases we have 2 H2O and 2 H2. So this H2 will cancel with this H2, this 2 will cancel with this 2, and we are left with uh, 2 times 1 is 5 moles of H2O. So basically what that tells you is 5 moles of H2 will produce 5 moles in, of H2O. And so we have to initially work with moles. Now, once we have moles, that's not what they want. They want grams. So we can convert moles to grams. Again, we know that moles is equal to grams over formula weight. That means grams is equal to moles times formula weight. And in this case, moles, we have 5. And the formula weight of H2O. Please note, we are not looking at 2 H2O, we just want H2O. H2O, the formula weight of H2O is 16 for oxygen plus 
2 for hydrogen and that will give us uh, 18 and 5 times 18 is 90 grams right, of H2O that's how we do it all right so again very quickly just to recap we were given 10 grams of H2 gas we're supposed to find out how many grams of H2O could be produced and what we did we first converted this to moles of H2 and then we calculated how many moles of H2O can be produced and we used this this relationship between these two uh, rea reaction on the product um, and then from here we were able to find out how many grams of H2O could be produced and that is really the way you have to do these problems you have to go from grams to moles moles to moles and then moles again back to grams right and one of the things that we have to remember always is this this formula which is mole is equal to grams over formula weight and this is extremely important to memorize this and we use this in all these calculations I hope this is this was helpful and now we'll go to the next set of problems